Part of me wants to scream. And part of me wants to ask, what is my crime? Why is an old tin hall so dangerous? He's a man of action, you know. Not that like he's an action hero, but like he's politically active, so he, he's a doer. Um, he, he's not going to sit idly by and passively watch his community live in kind of dire circumstances. So he gives them, um, he gives them what he can and, and, and makes everyone's life a little bit better, I think. But I, I suppose in the beginning, the first couple of months learning how to dance, we learned so many dances that weren't used in the film because we didn't really know and the choreographer didn't really know um, exactly what we were going to use. So we did do a couple of months of hard yeah. work. Yeah. Th th but that wasn't that wasn't hard either. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, no so complaints. Um, it was it was long and arduous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nerve wracking. Um, it was expensive, long. Expensive, costly. Uh, it, it was probably over a period of about four months, and um, it, the first meeting is like a meet and greet, ten minute chat very little talk about the project. I, I, I think he's just kind of sussing out people's working class credentials and their left-leaning politics mm -hmm. and vetting you on, on, on those uh, with that criteria in mind. And uh, thereafter then it was uh, a case of pairing off people, putting people in groups, giving them a scenario and uh, and kind of observing the dynamics of that and, um, <clears throat> and allowing you to improv for a few minutes. And they they were really unobtrusive and hiding out in the corner, so you wouldn't even know they were there. So it was really liberating and free, and people felt, I think all the actors felt um, great satisfaction in, in, in that process because they felt like they were getting to do a bit of work yeah. with Ken Loach. They were in the room for a few minutes, feeding off each other, and then they were out the door. And we had no idea what character we were being seen for. We had no idea of the story. So you can't you can't ruin it by over-preparing. <clears throat> you exactly. can't ruin it by going, this character, I think he's looking for a bit more of this. You have no idea what he's looking for. And you for can't beat yourself up when you yeah. leave. You can't go, I should have done this or that, because <clears throat> to what end? You have no idea what they're looking for. Well, I guess. We didn't read together until the last day. I remember, I think it was the third time I met Ken. It was in a pub in London, and I was downstairs in the bar, and Barry came down. I already knew Barry. And Denise, who's in the film, came down as well. And when they came down, I thought, oh, they'd be a really good couple in a film. Uh, <laughs> I about you and Denise, but you'd already worked together. Yeah, so we you played husband and wife, yeah. Um, and, and then they left, and I went up with somebody else to read. And then when we... God, there was another one then, and then we met in Dublin. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until the last day, I think, mm -hmm. that we finally got to... We, and it was a group scene. And then they got mm -hmm. us back, like, in, in the last half an hour of all the auditions... They finally us put us together as a couple, and uh, I kind of knew. Yeah, but then when I was on my way out, there was one guy. It was a, he was coming back in for the last yeah. ditch, and I was going. Sharp. And he was like, <laughs> way <laughs> more handsome. It was Carol Geary. was gorgeous, <laughs> and I thought I blew it at the last at the last hurdle. We need to take control of our lives again, to live, and to celebrate, to dance as free human beings. 